Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. You have seen these before, but not as in-depth or as complete as you're about to. This is a quality control and inventory video for a client. And uh, you are along for the ride and get to see some really awesome stuff. So first off, these are Titans from uh, Dreamforge. There is the Leviathan Titan, this one. And we have done conversion work on these to make them uh, more, uh, I guess, suitable for the 40K genre. And I've actually done a really detailed video on these first three. And so we won't spend too much time on them. Um, <clears throat> uh, Games Workshop has recently released a Titan. Uh, these, by the way, these are eight inches tall, approximately. Uh, the GW Titan is about six inches tall, which comes up right about to that guy's shoulder. And here's a base size comparison. I just thought you guys might be interested in this. This is the GW, what we call a Valk base, after the Valkyrie, which is the first model that had it. Uh, it is, I do believe, uh, five inches by four inches, something like that. And um, so that is uh, what that looks like in comparison. I'm pretty sure these are six inches across. In fact, let's take a look. Here's a BTP measure. You can find these on our store, Blue Table Painting, excuse me, bluetablestore.com. Yeah, it's actually uh, more like four and a half inches here. And across, it's looking like uh, just over three. So it's not even numbers. Uh, these, however, I do believe are exactly six inches across. So uh, let's take a look. These are the Mortis Titans. Uh, all the Dreamforge Titans have this great uh, key system. Very slick. And uh, I heard they were lowering the price of these to $75 or something like that, but that's, that's just heresy. So this guy, so let's just take a look. So this guy's crushing this Viper. And when you're putting vehicle debris on a base, what's really nice is to actually crush it in and, uh, you know, make it look like it's really crash landed there and give it some nice features like this. Like it's all, it's all been wrecked and burned up and, and, uh, and blown up. So... Yeah, this, uh, this just really speaks for itself. These are magnetized, by the way. These are like little force generators. Uh, you, and you can really just barely even see where the magnet is there. So I think they look pretty good without it. Yeah, even little areas here have some attention to them. Some freehand. So uh, this is number one. And you'll notice the mortises have this alternate pack on them, this alternate power generator. Oh, and look at this. Uh, and by the way, as opposed to this, this is kind of like the steampunk version of it. So, you know, strengths to both of them. These are the little uh, banners that we made. Uh, so various of the weapons will have magnetized points on them. Not all of them have it. So uh, let's take a look at the next. In fact, let's take a look at those banners. Uh, there's three more over here, and they are, they are all double-sided, so they show the insignia on both sides. There we go. All right, here's the next one. Yeah, that is good looking. It has a defiler on its base, all crushed in there. Very, uh, very, very well worked in, if you ask me. Good battlefield detritus there. That's supposed to move, by the way. Oh, man. This just makes me happy. I, I wish I could keep these. This is great. We've got to do like a little Titan battle with these. Yeah, that's fantastic. Go. I like the variation on the bases here, like little mounds. It looks very natural. This guy's got some more stuff on the back. See, I bet you guys never thought I showed up. But I do occasionally when I'm sleeping. All right, so there's your three Mortis Titans. 
and uh, I'll refer you to the other video for the first three. Let's see, I'll see if I can find that and put the link in the liner notes. I'll probably forget. Uh, and by the way, all the weapons on all of these are interchangeable for the other ones. God, look at that guy. That guy's awesome. Okay, so here's the other piece. These were extras and uh, not part of the project. So here's the weapons we didn't get to. Uh, yeah, I'll just show. I, I don't even. I don't even know what they are. By the way, this moves. Isn't that neat? It's very, very well designed. Makes sense. Magnus. Let's take a look at the other side here. Just flip it over. There we go. Okay. That's real nice. So, uh, yeah, with the new GW Titans, uh, we've got pricing for those. And that pricing is for doing all the freehand and stuff on it. So, um, you know, it is possible to get a simpler and less expensive version of that. By the way, if you check the liner notes, you'll see our email, currently projects at bluetablepainting.com. That's to set up a project. It's no obligation quote. Can't hurt you to at least find out how the whole process works. Uh, basically, we get a deposit from you. Then we order the models or wait for you to send your models. Then we assemble them if needed. Uh, your instructions, you write a paper. Um, not like a research paper, but you write your specifications, how you want everything done. And then that goes in the bin and the artist knows how to do it. Let's flip this one over too. Uh, and then it gets uh, quality control uh, at the end uh, through, through an art director or project manager. And then it goes to digital where the digital photographer also uh, keeps an eye out for anything that might be uh, not just right. And then you get to do quality control, first through pictures and then uh, through receiving them in person. And we've been in business 10 years. We follow up really well. And uh, obviously, we produce really, really, really amazing work. So that's the combination of, of extremely talented staff that is available uh, reliably and consistently and a business model that is uh, secure and long lasting. So folks, uh, there you have that, that. That was my plug. And uh, here you have uh, these really, really absolutely amazing Titans. Uh, they just, they make me happy just looking at them. We're going to have to uh, do some kind of battle with them, I, I think. So uh, thanks for tuning in. It really is our honor and pleasure to have you along for the ride.